Hello, beloved. I'm so sorry we got cut off. Um, so anyways, we were talking about the dream of me um, last night looking at a crab and inspecting it. And in the video, I put it in the description box, and I'm going to put it in this one too. In the video, um, he talks about the signs in the sky and the stars. And we see in Luke 21, 25, there's sign, signs in the stars. And we also see that um, we, we hear about the sign of the Son of Man coming with the clouds. And um, we have a tabernacle in heaven built by God. It's a, it's a, as 1 Corinthians 15 says, it's a heavenly, heavenly um, tabernacle, heavenly body. We will be like the angels, and we know the angels are stars, it says in Revelation of Jesus Christ. Um, so in the video, it's very important you watch the whole video, beloved. Um, we see the signs that Jesus has ordained in the sky and and the stars and venus will retrograde from leo to crab and which represents the sheep pen and so jesus is coming to rescue his sheep um, and the safety of the pen and the firm grip of the crab both signify no one will snatch them out of my hand this is what our brethren um, did in the video in Juno, we see the sheep coming from the other side of crab. So, and we're fleeing from the evil one, they say, um, that is about to slaughter and kill. We know the time of great tribulation is here upon us. We will meet you in the clouds forever, safe in your arms, Lord, is what she says in the video. And it, ta it shows quite a bit about the stars, the signs in the stars. And um, we know that we will be like the angels, it says in um, the Bible, in the New Covenant. And so the angels are stars, beloved. So I had no idea when I had this dream last night that in the sky, in the stars, right now, um, Venus will, be, will retrograde from Leo to Crab, which is the sheep pen. <laughs> and in my dream last night, I was on the side of this sea, and I was kind of in this a few rock area. Not it was mostly um, the sea, the sand area, but then there was some rocks on the sand, and the sea was like coming up to the rocks and the sand. And I was kind of going around looking, and I saw this one crab, and I was inspecting it. And my mom was with me, and in my dream, the Lord has shown me my mom represents Jerusalem above, mother of us all. Hallelujah, beloved. This is such a wonderful sign. And this sign is written in the stars, beloved. And another brother in Christ um, did a video about the, and I've done a video on this, I believe, about when God says um, no one will know the day or the hour. Only the Father knows. And when you look at that, he's specifically speaking about the time of heaven and earth passing away, beloved, the time of our escape, the time that, you know, we say that we don't know when Jesus will come to get his sheep. Only the Father knows. Well, a sister in Christ had a experience with the Father speaking to the Son and saying, go get my sheep. Um, I think I did a, vi a video where I have linked her dis uh, video in the description box also. So um, we know that the, in the book of Revelation of Jesus Christ, the Father and the Son, there are first fruits unto God. Um, a sister and I were talking about this today, and um, I've done videos on the first fruits unto God and His Father, as it says in Revelation of Jesus Christ, that we are royal kings and priests unto God. Okay, so, and His Father, it says in the scriptures. So that's what our duty is during this end time is to be royal kings and priests unto God and his father. And we know that God calls Jesus God in, I believe it's Hebrews. So we know um, that he is the fullness of the Godhead bodily, that Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. And he, he will not lose any of his sheep. We know that. Um, he will leave 99 and go after the one, he said even. 
but the question is, are people as sheep? And that's what we have been talking a lot about is about the, the, um, the division um, we see in Matthew 13, the Son of Man shall send forth his angels and they shall um, gather all of his, uh, gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity. So we have been showing the false doctrines, we've been showing the false Christ, we've been showing the false apostles, we've been showing a lot of things about the false doctrines, about the counterfeit Christ um, consciousness idea, and all these different things. Those are the things that offend. They are the ones that do iniquity. They love money more than God. And you'll either love the one and hate the other. So they love money and they hate God. And so we've been doing that with the Lord. The Lord has been doing that because his angels are doing that because he's doing that right now. And so it, he's the one that takes the book from him that sits on the throne. And we are like, and whatever he's doing, we are doing on earth. Because like Jesus said, I do what my father shows me, we're, do, we're doing the same thing. And I've been with the Father, and He has been guiding me. And I've had this this particular um, scripture, Matthew 13, I had an experience where I was up on the side of the seashore, and Jesus and I were fishing, and we had a big pile of fish together. And this seashore, I'm finding out, is way up above in the heavenlies. Um, and I didn't understand it before, but now I fully understand it. Just like I didn't understand this dream I had last night about a crab. And I had, I don't watch these, I don't look at the signs in the sky or any of these, uh, constellations of the stars. I, I don't look at that. Um, I have a brother in Christ who does it all the time, hourly watch. Um, but this particular, uh, YouTube channel, I just caught tonight. Um, before I'm doing this video and it's amazing how God is showing me that we are translated into the heavenlies it says in the scriptures and we literally are beloved my dream was about the star signs in the stars <laughs> beloved <laughs> I'm so amazed when I figured it out as I was watching this video I didn't understand why God was having me watch this video and let me tell you this video is amazing the way they set it up and how the Lord is the one directing the signs in the sky. And we see that in Genesis, that the stars were for signs. And so, beloved, and we know the sign of the Son of Man is clearly um, in the sky. We have two suns being seen in L.A. and all over the earth um, in the sky. And a brother, another brother in Christ did a video on that, which I'll have to do another video on and put his link to his, his video on that. Um, and I believe that one of the prophets saw wills within wills and that the, that it, the spirit guided them wherever the Lord would go. And this is one like the son of man. We know that's Jesus. And in um, another experience I had with the Lord, I was in this beautiful place and above my head were wills within wills, beloved which is to, is the spirit guiding the sheep wherever we're to go. So the Lord, our good shepherd, is guiding us by his spirit. Praise the Lord for his spirit. Um, and so we see the Son of Man there in that prophet's vision of the wills within the wills. And um, so in Matthew 13, we see that the separating and the binding and the, the casting out what offends out of the church of the living God. And now you see the Lord inspecting the sheep pen, the crab, Leo to crab, <laughs> which is Jesus coming to rescue his sheep. I just think it's, it's a, a, an amazing thing. And I had no idea what my dream meant last night. And I wasn't going to do a video until he led me to this video. Praise God for it. I'm going to put it another one in this video, um, a link to that video, which is amazing. It shows how the Lord did truly put signs in the sky. And it even talks about that in the book of Revelation of Jesus Christ as well. So um, anyways, beloved, no one's going to snatch us from the Lord's hand. And the sheep pen 
uh, the crab. It looks like he's been inspecting it and um, he's ready to take his sheep. All glory to God. All glory to him. I hope that this blesses you, beloved, and um, be of good cheer. You know, um, we shouldn't be afraid. Uh, the Lord is with us and he will never leave us nor forsake us. He said that the gates of hell will not prevail against the church of God. I know we see a lot of things in the world, a lot of hard things in the world, but be of good cheer. God has overcome the world, and we overcome the world by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and again, I still cannot believe it. I, I was so excited. I made a shout whenever I watched that video and I realized what this crab meant in my dream. And so here I am on here sharing it with you all. And I hope that it blesses you, which I know it will. The time is short, beloved. Look up. Our redemption draweth nigh. Agape love to you.